So Google Sites has finally brought out a new way to customize your own themes. This is great news. Let's take a look. So when we go into Google Sites, this is just a template site that I've made. We go over to themes. As you can see, I've already made a couple of different themes and the old ones are still there, but we can now customize our own themes. Once you've made a theme, you can also edit that theme. You can duplicate it. If you just want to make a few little changes to an existing one or else you can just start from scratch let's have a look and see what we've got under the hood so we need to give it a name right off the bat we can add a logo add a banner image that is the picture here behind next choose a color palette quite a few by the way once you've set these you can change them all again you don't have to do them now you can add more fonts from the uh, Google font collection and then we create the theme it's just apply that to the existing site that I've made and as you can see the fonts are different the colors are a little different and when I go to the other pages it still has the existing images that I've set earlier so it only seems to update the that image for the home page if it's an existing site that you've already put background images on so let's go back to themes let's go to colors and as you know in Google sites you've got the three different style areas you can adjust those as you need so let's try that out yep so as you can see, you can go right in and change all the individual titles, headings, subheadings to suit what you need it to be. You can do all the fancy things like alignment and line spacing, bold and italic, size, font, paragraph spacing before and after. Images, again you can change that header image and you can change the anchoring of the picture so that just means that it will either Go to the bottom of the photo or the top of the photo, the left or the right of the photo, or the center. Navigation. And then you've got other components. So the buttons. Um, the dividers, there's a little divider there. So lots of things you can do. It's not perfect, it has a few little issues. Like for example, at this stage, I don't believe you can actually share a theme. So if you create a really good theme that you like, you can't really share that theme with someone else. I guess what you could do is create a template website and share the website, and then that would give someone the theme but there's no way of actually saving that theme, I don't believe, and applying that to another website that you've already made, which is a bit of a shame. I'm sure that's something that'll be suggested and maybe updated at some point, but at this stage, and maybe I'm wrong, but I can't see how you can apply a theme directly to another site. So for example, if I go to my other sites, and if I go to themes, those custom sites aren't there. I do hope they change that in the future, but otherwise, it's a fantastic feature. I'm very excited about it. I've always wanted to be able to change the themes or have some different themes anyway. It looks like these aren't going to go away anytime soon. And I don't know that they're necessarily going to add any more now that they've got these custom themes set up. But who knows what the future holds for Google Sites. I think this is a good thing. Um, definitely worth trying out. Um, my advice is don't go too crazy on the colors. Make sure your colors are complementary that they match some of the themed color combinations are a little bit funny if you ask me and a little bit limited so be cautious with your color schemes and be cautious with how many fonts you use try and stick to one or two fonts maybe one font for all the titles and headings and another font for the body of text that's about all I would do and then I would leave it at that um, you can also play around with the font sizes as well but don't make those too outlandish um, big writing doesn't necessarily make for a great website now that is too small writing as well so you know you need to still do a little bit of research into what makes a website look good if you want to do a really professional job all right thanks for watching this video guys hope you enjoyed it see you in the next one